Hi, my name is Nur Emilia Farina Binti Ahmad Fatahuddin. My matrix number is 202674. Hi, I am Aina Jadera Binti Omar, matrix number 200420. Hi, my name is Sadia Binti Zukafi and my matrix number is 201073. Hi, my name is Nuri Zaysman, this is Ismail, and my matrix number is 200613. Hi, my name is Sinbad Shikin Binti Muhammad Hanafi, and my matrix number is 200531. We are from Group 4 of Bachelor Science Environmental and Occupational Health, UPM. We are going to present about drinking water treatment system in Malaysia and the world specifically about iron or oxidizing filtration. Let's go! Did you know that iron can often be detected visibly in water or by staining on plumbing fixtures? Hmm, I was wondering, how do they remove the iron from the water before drinking water is produced? Oh, well... Iron is usually found in its very and precipitated form in surface water, often in combination with suspended solids. It will then be eliminated during the clarification stage. On the other hand, iron is found in its various form in most groundwater as well as in the deep zones of some eutrophic water reserves that are deprived of oxygen. This reduced iron 2 plus will be in a dissolved and frequently complex form. In order to remove the iron, the water saucer shall be treated before drinking water is produced. Oxidizing filter is one of many drinking water treatment systems in Malaysia and the world. It is an inline point of entry device that converts dissolved iron, manganese, and hydrogen sulfide to a solid form and then filters the particles out of the water. I can send you a video that can tell you more about the oxidizing filter. That is, if you are interested. Sure, I would love to watch them. Thank you. The iron and oxidizing filtration water treatment was started in Minnesota, United States. Iron and manganese control is the most common type of municipal water treatment in that country. Iron and manganese occur naturally in groundwater through piping and storage tank. However, this chemical also can come from anthropogenic sources including industrial effluent, lengthy leakage and acid mine drainage. Water that contains excessive amount of iron and manganese can stain clothes these color plumbing fixtures and sometimes add a rusty taste of water. Surface water generally does not contain large amount of iron or manganese, but iron and manganese are found frequently in water systems that use brown water. How an oxidation filter works? This is the oxidation filter where we have a media, we have water and also we have the air. And then when the water flow, water contain of the iron, sulfur and manganese. In the air, once oxidized, the iron, sulfur and manganese particle are reduced in size. In the media, the particles are then trapped in the resin bed. After that, Iron free water will travel up the inner distributor tube and is delivered to the point of the use. During that washing, all oxygen will be used and the flow reverse direction. Iron and sulfur particles are removed from the resin bed and forced upward and out. Finally, the particles are flushed from the system and air replaced in the tank. 
this section, you will learn about advantages and disadvantages of iron or oxidation filtration. So, let's go! The first part that you will learn is the advantages of iron or oxidation filtration. The first advantage is it can remove sulfur and rust and it also can remove sediment. The third advantage is it is low maintenance and it also free of chemicals usage. Other than that, iron or oxidation filtration can provide pure drinking water. Lastly, it is automatic regeneration. That's the end of advantages of iron or oxidation filtration. Now, we will proceed with the disadvantages of iron or oxidation filtration. Stay tuned! So, the first disadvantages of iron or oxidation filtration is it is not soft on the water if having hard water. The second disadvantage is we need to replace the filter after a while using it. And the last one is iron or oxidation filtration is a little bit expensive. Wow, this video do explain a lot about oxidation filtration. Now I know how does iron being removed before drinking water is produced. So to sum up, Oxidizing filtration do have advantages such as it helps to remove sulfur and rust which produce pure drinking water for us. And oxidizing filtration is the most cost effective method since there is no chemical cost needed. However, over time this type of filter can be costly both in terms of purchasing replacement filter as well as downtime required to remove and replace used filter. I'm so glad that you shared this video with me because I learned a lot from it. Thank you dear. But I think I have to go for now because I have another meeting. To we meet again. Bye. You're almost welcome dear. Alright then, bye, see you again.